Hey everyone, how is everyone doing today? My name is Jean and I am doing great. Lucky, lucky, lucky what I have. I have my tonic kit from for March. I mean not March. Oh my goodness, May. So shall we see what's in here? Oh, let's open this up. Oh my. We have um I don't let's see should tell us on here what this is. A dual-ended blander brush in a new style. It's very stiff. So we have that. <clears throat> Ooh, we got some washi tape in some pretty blue colors. Pretty. We've got some Nouveau embellishment mousse in the color of let's see they put it on the side Cosmo Br okay it says Cosmo Brown uh, but it looks blue to me that's weird that's a weird color <laughs> washi tape boatyard blue is what it says on the paper but it says it right here, Cosmo Brown. Huh. Okay then. Or maybe that's this. What? No, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, and then we've got some Nouveau Drops. Let's see what kind they are. They're the Stone Drops. Ooh, that's new. That is new. In Rusted Iron. Oh boy. Can't wait to test that out. And we have a Nouveau Hybrid Ink in Poppy Red. We'll test that. <gasps> we got some more gold flakes. Let's see. We got some more of the gold flakes. Oh, let's see. It doesn't have the name here. But let's see. Radiant gold in the gilding flakes. Radiant gold. Alright. And then we have our little kit with our stamps and our um, dies. Alright. Let's see. Let's look at the paper. I always love, 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 love the paper. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, look at that. Oh, man. That is gorgeous. And I got two of those. So this must be the Copper Fountain, which is what that looks like. Oh, that's beautiful. Here, I'm going to mark off the things that I'm Okay, read. and then the fountain. Champagne fountain. I love that. Oh, my God, that is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, oh, and this is uh, probably maroon red in their classic card. It's got a little bit of a texture to it. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's almost like a basket weave. I just love it. But then on the other side, it is smoother. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at that. This must be... Um, I have so many. I would venture to say that this is ivory sheen, probably. It's beautiful. Look at that pearlescence. Oof, camera does not do that justice, that's for sure. Or it could be golden glacier. No, pearlescent card. That's what that is. And then we have another classic card in navy blue. Again, with that basket weave look to it. Wow, look at that. And this is uh, probably the Golden Glacier. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. Did y'all see that blue underneath there? Did you? Look at that. Oh my God, y'all. Oh my gosh, hold on. We got to talk about this for a minute. Oh my gosh. It's like little flowers. It's almost like embroidery. Oh. oh, I have never. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at 
that. I love their paper. Love it. So this one must be called Floral Lace. Oh, it's gorgeous. Is it not gorgeous? Y'all, you have to admit that's gorgeous. I love it. I love that. Oh, the camera is not doing that justice either. I mean, seriously, it looks like it's little embroider embroidery, you know? Oof. Love it. Okay, and this one, I like it too. It's very pretty. Copper roses. There are little roses on it. Copper roses. So that's what that one is called. And then, of course, this is the... Um, gold dust glitter card. Oh my gosh, look at that. I love that. Love it. Alright. So, now let's look to see what is inside here. Wait to see. Ooh, that paper is gorgeous. I love their paper. A, a specialty paper, I think they win hands down, in my opinion. All right, so what do we got going on here? Uh oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Aww. I like that little stamp. It's not round, it's square, which is unusual. Oh no, wait, it can be round. That's neat. Okay, so we have a rose. Um, what are they calling this stamp? Distressed stamps. Okay. I don't know why that would be considered distressed, but you know, we're going to stamp it out. That's what I like to do. And of course, they give you more information about the stone drops and what colors. Look at that. Fiery red. Yikes. Woo-wee! Okay, oh, and we get a stencil. <gasps> oh, that is so cool. All right, so we're going to play with the stencil. We're going to play with the stamp. We're going to play with the inks with that in this contraption. This thing is wild. I'm sure it will be good for stencils. We'll see. All right, and then we have the die. Okay, this is called the uh, Distressed Stencil, Distressed Stamps, and Distressed Edge and Tag. Oh boy, it's a tag set. So you know we got to run this through the die machine to see, um, to see what it looks like, because I always want to do that. Okay, how are these tags though? See, that's what I'm saying. That's why I like to run it through my machine so that I'll know. So let's take a look. Oh, that's cool. All right, so I'm. what I'm going to do is, well, here, let's play with the stamp and the stencil first. And then I'll run these through my machine and then we can look to see what they look like. We're going to test all these goodies out. You yeah, know, I love this part. This is my favorite part. So let's let's test out here. Let's do this first because this will take a while to dry. So this is stone drops. I've never heard of those before, but my guess is they're going to look like stone when they're dried. They're kind of moosey feeling. It's kind of wild. Kind of feels like a mousse. It's, uh, it's weird. Con I mean, it's like a mousse consistency. <laughs> All right, and then we have this. So let's just. Quite don't understand the mousse really, if I'm being honest. But it is fun to use on mixed media projects. I will say that. I don't know about card making. So much as just mixed media pieces, you know. Um, and the gilding flakes, I'm not going to open because we've done those before. They're just in a, you know, a lighter gold color. So, but, you know, they work the same way. You can put double-sided tape down and um, put them down. Or you can use, I've used uh, glue on them. So, we know what the, here, let's just do it. Why not? Come on, Gina. Let's get with it. Let's get with the program. Here, let me find my double-sided tape thing. 
I'll just do that. Do, do a couple of lines. We'll just put some of this on there. My fan is blowing, so I hope it doesn't blow. cool though. Look at that. That is so cool. Y'all, that is cool. <laughs> I love it. I have no idea what I'm going to make with this this month. And I don't know if, you know. Okay. The wind's blowing it. Oh, don't blow. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That is cool. That's cool. That's pretty. I like that. That's really pretty. Let me dump that. Alright. Let's see. Let's look at the washi tape. Why not? I don't use washi tape very often. That's another thing I want to try to... You know, I have it. Might as well use it. Well, now when I do my create this book. I do use my stash of items that I haven't used in a while, you know? So, it'll work. Ryan, this would be pretty for like a baby or a seascape. Summer Type deal. So there's that. I went over the page. Thing about washi tape, you can take it off. Okay. So there's the washi tape. That's kind of cool. Let's see, what else do we need to. Okay, now let's do the stamps. Now this should look distressed here. Let's try the stencil and then we'll try the stamps. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try this thing. I've never used one of these. I'm guessing I'm doing it right. Now let's try the stamp. Okay, it's kind of cool, the distressed look. Okay, it's pretty cool. So these are corner pieces, obviously. All right. So now what I want to do is, I'm going to clean this off so it doesn't get stained. <clears throat> I'm going to clean my stamps a little bit better. And then I'm going to cut out the die pieces so we can see what they look like and uh, what we can use them for. So I will be right back when I get that done. Okay, I just wanted to show, I just used a wipe to clean this. And then um, for the stamps, I just used um, alcohol ink and my little chamois. And they came pretty clean with that ink, so that's the hybrid ink. Um, and then this is as clean as it's going to get. It's not leaving any more, so it will stain it. You know, so there we go. So I just wanted to show you that. Okay, so <clears throat> this is this one right there. And then this is this one. And then this says, have a lovely day. And um, it doesn't come out too well with one time through, as you can see. That's what it says. And then this side is this guy right here. That's that guy. Alright. And then we have, um, here's the little, 
flower. There's a little flower that's from that right there. And then the other one, where did it go? Probably fell on the floor. <laughs> nope, there it is. And then this one is supposed to be, it looks like a flower, but it looks more like a starburst burst once it's out, you know? But you could probably put them together to make a flower, you know? Like that. This is this one, the rose one, which turned out very pretty. Yeah. But there they are. Oh, and this one says, wishing you all the best. And that one did cut out really nicely. So that's what that one says right there. So, that is everything that's in this kit for this month. Um, I didn't get the inspiration bug to create something with this. Uh, so, I don't know if I will do a video with a project or not. Unless something really jumps out at me, probably not. I might just use them later on down the road. But I do really dig, though, this one. I do like the way that looks, the rings. I mean, the only thing I would think to use it as is a stencil to be, you know, put it on some really heavy duty cardstock and just use it as a stencil. But I wanted to show you the stone drops. So they are dry. And um, I guess they sort of kind of look like stones. They are different than any of the other Nouveau drops that I've ever used. So it's kind of cool. So they are more like when the mousse, if you put a lot of the mousse on, it kind of is that texture. So, but there you go. So that is what came in kit number 21. I believe that's the kit number. Yes. So, kit 21, got it. So, I don't know if I will do anything with it or not. Um, still debating on that. So, I do like the stencils though. I like that distress look. It looks kind of cool. Oh. Alright, y'all. Well, I hope that this uh, was beneficial to you. I hope um, it inspired you. Maybe it inspired you to do a little something with maybe uh, your old die sets or if you want to get this kit I don't know if they still have it in stock or not but all that will be linked down below in case you are interested in seeing what it's all about I'm going to keep these in here too so I'll remember what they look like alright so that is that all right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Y'all be good to one another, and I'll talk to you later.